Hello artists! What an exciting day it is. We're ready to open the paint center. The purpose of this video is to show you how to set up your painting supplies so that you can explore and create in this center. This is the paint center. Before you get started, get yourself an apron to keep your clothing clean. This poster shows you everything you need to get started. First thing is get some newspaper to put under your painting. This is where the newspaper is located. When you get out a sheet of newspaper, please make sure that you leave it nice and tidy for the next person who goes. Set it up on the table surface where you'll be working to keep the table clean. Next, you'll need a paper towel for cleaning up messes and for dabbing your brush as you work. Paper towels can be found by the sink, or you'll usually see a couple rolls sitting around near the paint center that you can use. Next up is a water cup. Please only fill your water cup half full. We don't want to have any spills, so we only fill our cups halfway. Please make sure you carry your water with two hands. Next up is your paint palette. Paint palettes are what artists use to mix their own unique colors for their paintings. If you mix red and yellow, what do you think you can make? Next, it's time to get your paint brushes. Please only take two brushes at a time. This helps make cleanup go faster at the end of class. You can try the different kinds of brushes here. You'll, you'll see that they're labeled with a picture, color, and name. Next to those brushes are texture brushes to add interesting textures to your painting. Finally, it's time to get your paint. Tempera paint is located on the bottom shelf. Each table can take one caddy to their table and share those paints. You can ask me for extra colors if you need something that's not in your caddy. Don't forget a piece of painting paper to work on. There are two different sizes to choose from. Your painting workspace should look something like this. As soon as you arrive at your table, please make sure to write your name on the back of your painting paper because once there's paint on the front you won't be able to flip it over and put your name on. First, sketch your idea with pencil. Remember to draw light until you get it right. That way if you have to erase anything it's much easier to erase your light pencil marks. When you have your idea sketched out, you can get your paint palette ready. Take a look at the th size of your thumbnail. That's about how much paint you should put of the colors you're going to use on your palette. You can always get more if you run out, but we don't want to waste paint. We'll start by using the primary colors. I like to set them up on my palette in a triangle shape so I have room to mix my own colors nearby. When you're ready to mix colors, take a little scoop of the colors you're mixing and create a new area on your palette. Try to mix the darker colors into the lighter colors to see the biggest changes. We want to try to have many different colors on our paint palettes, not just one big blob of color. Don't forget to clean your brush when you switch colors. Swish it in the bottom of your cup, wipe it on the edge, and blot your paintbrush on the paper towel to make sure that it's clean. You can also use your paper towel if you get too much paint on your brush. Mm -hmm. 
Look at this beautiful orange color I'm mixing by combining red and yellow. What color do you think I'm adding to it to make it lighter? Look at this beautiful green I can make by mixing just a tiny bit of blue into my yellow. It's so vibrant and unique. If I want to turn this into a lighter green, what do you think I should add? If you guessed white, you're correct. White is one of my favorite colors to use to create more tints or lighter versions of my colors. Okay artists, I can't wait to see what you explore and create in the paint center. Have fun!